beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Could you be mine? Would you be mine? Let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're in this together, might as well say, would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you be? Won't you please? Please won't you be my neighbor? Hi boys and girls, my name is Chad Jordan, VP of Brands at Soshi. Welcome to the virtual neighborhood. Now more than ever, this neighborhood, this community is important. A community is a place where everyone feels they belong, where everyone feels connected, where yes, even your mommy's and daddy's businesses can have a seat on the community couch. But do you know the secret to community is found right in the word community? Because it has a lot in common with another word, communication. The key to building a good community is being good at communication. Even businesses right now, especially right now, can get better at communication. Here's how. One, to build a good community through communication, businesses must make sure their online information is accurate and up to date as possible. I bet some of your parents have searched for a restaurant on their phone or computer, braved the scary conditions to go out of the house, went to the restaurants to order something, only to arrive and find out the hours were wrong online or that the restaurant wasn't even open right now. I bet mommy and daddy might have even said a bad word, huh? So all businesses right now could build a better community if they remember to pay attention to their online listings. And not just open businesses, even closed ones can go in and add temporarily closed in their Google listing to let us know they plan to reopen as soon as they're allowed to. Maybe they could even plan to do a Google post announcing in their targeted grand reopening celebration. That would be a good idea. Number two, another way businesses can build a strong community through communication is by monitoring and responding to their online reviews. Reviews are not just ways adults tattle on businesses. They're also ways adults can cheer for businesses. Hey, doesn't it feel great when you make the honor roll at school? Your mommy and daddy are so proud and happy. They tell everybody. That's what it feels like to a business when it gets a five-star review and they get seen by everybody. So it's important for these businesses to read and reply to these reviews, especially on Google, Yelp, and Facebook, so they can go back and thank the people who like them and help them make the honor roll, and also to start having a conversation with the people that wanted them to go to detention. Remember, sticks and stones can break our bones, but unmonitored reviews can really hurt you. The last way businesses can build a thriving community right now is through social media. Let's be honest, boys and girls, while you're busy making TikToks right now, mommy and daddy are on their phones or computers looking at Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn, right? That's where the people are. So that's where the businesses really have to focus on communicating clearly right now. If the business is open and a central business, they should be on their social media channels down to the local pages, posting daily to their customers about what they're doing and how they can help. If the business is closed, they should be on social media even more. So remember, to build a good community, you have to communicate clearly. And hey, here's some fun homework for you. Did you know that SOCHI stands for selflessness, overachiever, customer-centric, and innovation? So I say we all focus on S, being selfless during this crisis. Let's find ways as a community to help the helpers. Here's something fun you can do. If you want, I can send you this page of community helpers that you can color in and hang in your window. You can even put the name of helpers you know on it so they can see it when they drive by your house on their way to help someone. Let them know how much they mean to you. Communicate clearly to them and you'll do your part in helping build a better community. Oh, I think that's my cue. Hope to see you again next time. Bye. Bye-bye.